Hey, Magic Z here, and we are back with Jade Cocoon. All right, so now we're actually going to be able to play the game instead of just listening to everyone talk. So, let's go. Who are you? I've seen poachers who impersonate cocoon masters. If you are a real cocoon master, show me by playing that flute. Slowly now. I... I know that tune. Are you the son of Riquettes, the cocoon master of Cyrus? Yes. If the son of Riquettes has been sent into the forest, the village must be in danger. Yeah, dude, we got Oni Boo Boo. Tell me what has happened in Cyrus. We got Oni Boo Boo. I see. So the Oni Boo Boo have reached Cyrus as well. And you came to search for the Calabas herb, huh? <laughs> but uh, you're flute playing. You don't know anything yet, do you? Your father would My never forgive play. me if I just My let you go into fine. the forest to die. Chorus. I am Chorus, the blue cocoon master. On behalf of my comrade Riquettes, I shall initiate you to the arts of the cocoon masters. The path of training is a difficult one. Ask me anything. So, you can actually do some, like, uh, exploity things here. Um, basically, if you choose attacks and defense, he'll give you some mugwort. And if you fail the tutorial, you'll get back here. You can select attack and defense again, and you'll get more mugwort. So I'm gonna do that until I get 20, just so I don't have to buy any later, because I'd rather use the money on weapons rather than healing items. So, I'm gonna take a, uh, a quick intermission here, and I'll be back once I have 20 Mugwort. Alright, so, I'm going to show you. I currently have 17 of the, or 18? 17 or 18 of the uh, Mugworts here. And so, it... It's really easy the minions to of the forest are this, full of melancholy and are thus very dangerous. This tutorial, he will give you a it is our task to capture them, but first, they must be weakened. It is for this purpose only that you would attack with a weapon. Let's have you learn the basics by actually fighting a minion. Have you any mugwort herb? For after a fight, wounds and exhaustion must not be ignored. Use this now. Here we go. And so basically here, um, he tells you to start off with an attack. So start off with an attack. Slice deep into the monster. Yes, no need to hold back. But, see I have 18 my work here. If I select defend, do not stray from my teachings, else your training will be for naught. Do as I say if you want to improve. He doesn't like it when you say no, but... The minions of the forest that, are full of melancholy. A bunch of free mugworth. It is our task to capture them. And they're like First, 15... they must be weakened. Of the, it is for this the purpose each. only that you would attack with a weapon. Let's have you learn the basics by actually fighting a minion. And this time we will actually follow his instructions. Have you any? And now we have 19 level. Died instantly. 
Attacking is the basic tactic for damaging the enemy, but it will not stop counterattack. And it will especially do no good if you are fighting multiple opponents or a single powerful enemy. Now try to defend yourself. By defending, you decrease the damage you receive, but doing only this lets the enemy attack at will. Balancing attacks with defense against your enemies is critical. Crucial. Whatever you say. I didn't read it. Now then, how can you fight without losing health? Items like Mugwarber, which restore your health, are very helpful indeed. Now try using your Mugwarber during combat. We'll get plenty of more, so it's no big deal using one here, especially now that we have 18 and we got a bunch of them for free. No matter how much you attack, sooner or later you will lose all your health if you keep taking damage. But using a Mugwar Herb will help you recover. Understand? Attacking is the most important technique in battle. Continue to battle while restoring your strength as long as you still have Mugwort Herbs. However, if you run out of Mugwort and your health is running low, then it is better to retreat than defend. These are the basic rules of combat. But remember, the mission of the Cocoon Master is not to kill, but to soothe souls. I feel like the no voice actors probably did actually record the name Lamont, because it, it sounded like he almost said an L name there the before they cut know. it off. Good job. Take this as a symbol of your hard work. Give me back my mug work. Capture. The sound of your flute shall soothe the minion's souls. Trapping them in empty cocoons is known as capturing. Let's have you learn the basics by fighting a minion. So you can also cheese this one but it's a little more complicated and it glitches the game out. And I think that there's a possibility of it even crashing the game, regardless if you're using a hard copy of the game like I am or an emulator. And so we're just not gonna do that because I don't really care about capturing 20 of this, 20, 12 of this thing. I only have 12 empty cocoons. Here we go. But, you get to keep this monster, so... Begin by weakening him. It will do you no good to play your flute right away. The minion rages uncontrollably. The sound of your flute cannot touch his heart like this. First, you must let him know who's boss. Attack him! I'm the boss! I'm the boss! Once they have been weakened about this much, try to capture them. Try it now. And so during that little animation, if the monsters are going to break out, they actually start, like, fighting. And sometimes they don't well, get out. Sometimes they do. More or less. Sometimes they don't even your fight and they get out. Your success capturing depends on your skill with the flute. And the only way to improve is to imprison as many minions as you can. Basically, you should technically you this time capture every minion you come across so that way he gets XP in reality, because I don't think he gets so XP easy. from defeating them only the monsters do and work on your flute play in time capturing minions will become easier for you so we're literally just and gonna you can only carry so many capture everything with until you. Our each time a capture full. fails you lose one so it would be wise if, to return uh, to the village if you run out like the monsters the same the minion it doesn't you really just matter captured you can, is my uh, gift to you break down their cocoons for the silk however and sell it it is useless and that's until it the is main re like money making thing purification simply trapping a minion in a cocoon will not soothe its spirit 
requires purification. If you are a cocoon master, you must have taken a Nagi woman as your bride in the sacred union. Have your wife purify a firefly cocoon. It will then become a white cocoon. Once it becomes a white cocoon, you can summon the minion into battle. The path of training is a difficult one. Ask me anything. Summoning. We are called Cocoon Masters because we have the power to summon magical minions. I thought it was because we trapped them in cocoons. In order to beckon these minions, we must translocate our earthly vessels. In other words, the minions fight in our stead. Mesmerized by the sound of the flute. After all, we are but beasts of knowledge, no match for the minions deep in the forest. That means we must fight minion with minion. However, you may only take three magical beasts with you at a time. Why, Pokemon, let me have six. Each minion possesses one of four distinct elemental properties. Keep the following relationships in mind. I really wish that they let us at least have four, so that way you could have one of every attribute. But I guess that's the whole point of only having three, so that way you have to choose which ones. Know your opponent and develop a strategy first. And then merging. He does honestly doesn't give you any information on merging. Magic beasts gain strength through victory in battle. And by merging different beasts together, they will become even stronger. Try it once you have obtained a few. I don't really understand Your merging wife too should much. merge them for you. So I'm just gonna like Be warned, probably haphazardly while merging merge does pass stuff on together. characteristics of both beasts. Elemental properties and special abilities can either be strengthened or weakened. For this is the one thing I cannot teach you. You must master this process yourself. All right, we're done. We're done with you, Chorus. Very well. Now, you must try to apply what you have learned. My cottage is deep inside this forest. If you arrive there safely, you shall receive my approval. <laughs> oh, son of the Lion of Peril, you shall become a cocoon master worthy of your father's name. Cool. See you later, Chorus. Hey, it's a little b-boy. Let's catch us a little b-boy. Just too good. So he's like in capture range technically now, but sometimes they can break out if they're still in blue health. It's better just to get them into the red. And some monsters will have like better stats than others, even if they're the same monster. So it's always good to catch multiples, just so that way you can be like, eh, you know what? This guy's better. He's got better attack, or he's got better magic, because he uses magic, or, you know, lots of different things. Strategy. Mainly, I'm just catching to level up, as well as to, uh, make money. Another little b-boy. And so the elements are very easy to follow. I mean, they literally give you the type advantages up in the corner of every status, you know. It shows that they're fire. Well, what's behind fire? Blue. What's blue? Blue is water. So. Water beats fire, fire beats air, air beats earth, and earth beats water.
college one. It's just a stone tablet. So there's like three of these or more. There's a couple of them. But basically they're just little tutorials. So water-based attacks are effective against fire-based creatures. Fire-based attacks are effective against wind-based creatures. It just tells you type advantage. So that's it. They don't really give anything that's not common sense or that Koros didn't already tell you, so... The teleporter. We can't use it yet. We gotta get the necklace. Amulet, whatever they call it. Let's go this way. Looks like there's a block. Well, guess what? It flips it. So this way we can't really do anything except for capture some monsters over here. There's a treasure chest, but we don't have the key for it yet. But see, there's a bunch of these guys, and I think these guys just run away from you. They're uh, they're not really combatants. Come on, don't run away. These tank controls make it hard to, to catch up to you. Let me touch you! Ooh, hey, there's a little goblin guy. Escaib! That sounds like a derogatory term. Like. Like, like a scrub, or someone that's scummy. You freaking scummy. Like a, like a sci-fi insult. heal because I'm at 30 health. I mean, none of the monsters are really much of a threat. One thing that's really neat about this is, you know how Chorus said that my flute playing was bad? Well, that actually kind of goes with your, uh, your capture level. So I believe at 4, I should get a new song. He'll play a different tune whenever doing the capture. Ash. He's just a little hobby boy. These ones are very magic based. So if I attack him again, he would absolutely die. So we're just going to try and capture him with six health because he's at six health and he's totally capturable. I am absolutely about to run through and try to capture all three of these guys. Uh, back here, I think all of these types run, because there's also a water type later on in this level that does healing. But these ones are very magic based. They don't hit very hard and they have really low defense.
This music's just so good. I I like a lot of music from PlayStation games. It was really good. Like they did pretty good with the some of these soundtracks with the limited capabilities they had, you know. A lot of this music is just like a 45 second loop or something. But, you know, they've got to make music that is actually something that people won't mind listening to on repeat for hours at a time. So the special liquor, what that does is it just lets you heal your monsters once they've been cocooned. This way is just back to this path. Uh, well, there's one screen here and an item. Old cloth stuck is stuck between leaves of ivy covering a boulder. Shaft liquor. This screen is the one where the... Oh no, there's one more screen. I forgot how far up this was. Oh snap, I am so low on health. I should probably heal up after this attack. Because he's gonna use his attack. Yeah, he's gonna use his big attacks here. But he's only got two big attacks in him with uh, the mana that he's got because they only start out with like usually sub 20 mana and a lot of the time the skills that they use require 10 mana to do so if you've got 19 mana you can't really use it two times But the important part is whenever you can sell the silk, because that'll allow me to get a lot of items pretty quickly. All right, level up. Yeah, see, now I went from apprentice to novice, and so now I have a new song. But yes, yeah, here's the fork where we went last time. So if we went this way, this is where we would have gotten. It doesn't really matter which way you go. Because you can always just loop back around. And this should be knowledge too. Inside a broken rock, a stone tablet remains intact. Knowledge too. A lot of the air element ones Usually there's uh, the fire variant of these guys walking around. See, you don't get any experience if Levant kills the the minion. We've got two of these guys? 
usually there's like a, there's a different kind of guy here. We're gonna go, actually, let's see if we can capture this guy, and then we'll go the other way. Because up ahead is like some sneaky boys, but they're like two at a time, and they can poison. because I think I actually might kill him quite a bit. Yeah, see, I have a new song. So as you get better at being a Cocoon Master, his tune will change. should be wandering around the forest here. I have two empties left. rendered background. wishes he could be a cocoon master. If I had gone back to the village, I'd have some minions here to fight him. Because I don't think I'll get any experience from this. Spanking himself hurt me, but okay. Yeah, no experience. Ow! That hurts! Alright, that's all for now. 
Master Chorus's cottage lies ahead. Go on, get out of here. Next time I won't go so easy on you. Listen. Yeah, it's like, what's up with Louie? He knows I know who that is, right? And you get a weapon! So, this is a, uh, this is a water weapon, and so it kind of sucks, uh, currently, because a lot of monsters are earth. The spear gives off an eerie and moist blue glow. How is a glow moist? I don't, I don't understand. Like, like, does the light feel wet? I mean, I feel like saying that it emanated a aura. What? I had a dagger. That would have been a lot better than the knife. Often used for playing in the woods or at the river. Used for cutting away branches and carving meat. The dagger would have been so much better. Yeah, I don't have any accessories currently. But I think I'm about to get one. I should probably... Yeah, I think there's some pretty tough monsters coming up here. Honestly, I probably shouldn't use this, because I think the ones that are coming up are earth. And water does not do good against earth monsters. So we got some green, green guys up here. If they're green, then I'm going to switch to the dagger. Oh no, we've got yellow boys this time. So, these actually kind of change. And a lot of the time they'll be green. But sometimes you'll get the, uh, the yellow ones here. I don't think I've ever ran into the blue or the red variant whenever I've gone through this part of the game. I've always either come across the yellow or the green ones. Yellow is a good stroke of luck for us. Because that means that it'll take normal damage against our water weapon here. But these guys are strong. And so you gotta be careful. So he's doing freaking full damage to me. Ooh. Let's capture you. You're trying to kill me, dude. those mugworts from Chorus earlier. Hey, he was worth a lot of experience. Well, he was level 3. Chorus's house is actually over there, but we're gonna go this way. Uh, there's an item which allows us to use the the teleporter here. Yeah, a jewel necklace of lies. A jewel necklace of lies, partially buried in the ground. A jewel necklace of something lies partially buried in the ground. It's a necklace of lies. Yeah, the beetle warp necklace. And so I'm going to call it here. I'm going to save. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And all the good things. And I'll see you in the next one. It's been magical.